Welcome back to the cricket uh, from the Hag the Oval being brought to you by Razine, the paint that uh, Kiwis trust. Lovely day here in Christchurch. We're going to see Kugelain bowling his second over and uh, he'll be bowling to Manus Labashain, who, as Jeremy Coney said in the last over, just starting to look like he's getting into something of a batting rhythm as... Uh, is uh, Kugelheim bowling outside the off stump, no shot. Well, I was looking, Jerry, uh, mm. and, and just, you know, always like when thinking about coming into a, a New Zealand-Australia series and just looking at the... I was interested in the first game that they played, and you, you'll know all of this, but, but, of course, 74, you know, the first game was in 1946, and, and then they didn't play again until 74 in Australia. Not a full side. No. They, 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 they played, played the sort of yep. beat... Well, what they would call... What, an Australian board 11... Mm. Or whatever, but I was, gosh, I was I, looking at that first test in 1946 in Wellington, just a year after the Second World War finished. It's Kugelheim bowls, and Mark Lavashain is not timing that at all as he plays an awkward, attempted pull shot, and it ends up just below him. But but that, that must have been a remarkable game over in, in less than two days, and, and Wally Hadley, you know, winning the toss and deciding to field, uh, to bat rather, to bat. after yeah. seven days of rain. They had to mow a pitch. Well, they made a new, the, a new pitch, yeah. that's right, on the morning of the match. Yeah, but what an Australian side it was. Oh, yes. Eh? Yeah, it was. And, and Hadley's theory was, of course, to... Uh, he thought that by batting first they would neutralise Miller and Linwell as uh, the spoilers short and played uh, off the back foot. But a hell of a side. Don Tallon was playing in his first game, the great Australian wicketkeeper. Yep. And... and Tiger O'Reilly's last match. Was it? Yeah, at the age of 40. Yeah, well, and Bill Brown, it was a lot of, it was the heart of the, the no, Bradman. 48 side. Yeah, Bradman wasn't there. He was recovering from fibrosit, fib, fibrositis, I think it is, a musculoskeletal condition which he had for some years. Oh, okay. He didn't play a game between 1941 and, and 46, 47. Here's a ball outside the off stump. Good delivery, which beats Labashain outside the off stump. Yeah, well, I mean, you mentioned Tom Tallon. I met Don Tallon in 85 when we toured, and he, we were sitting having a bit of lunch, actually, on one of the days, and he told me a little story about his brother, who was Bill Tallon, yep. who opened the bowling for Queensland. Don was at Queensland, too, from Bundaberg, up there, Bundy was Rum he? and Coke. Yes, was absolutely. He? Overproof. Yeah, it was. Bit of the OP, a night on the OP, and you <laughs> saw the game through a haze the next morning. <laughs> As uh, the fumes would have been coming yeah. off, pushed into the offside this time by Labuschagne. And anyway, he, he was telling me a story, and I've, forgive me if... It, 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 well, I imagine it's a cricket story that probably people have heard of, so my apology is, is to you. But he, he, he said he was playing this particular day with his brother Bill uh, for Queensland against South Australia in Adelaide. And, and Bill took up the story. I bowled the first one. Whoop. He had a bit of a stutter, right. Bill. And, and I bowled the first one well up and it was close in and I just nipped away and took the outside bottom edge. It wouldn't have reached for first slip. Here's the Google line bowling again. <laughs> Look, we're going to take a break because the over, thank goodness the over's come and I can compose myself again. Jeremy can practice his stutter yeah. and we'll be back in a moment. 56 for two. Yeah. And welcome back to the Hagley Oval in beautiful conditions in Nortatahi Christchurch. It is uh, 56 for two, Macca scoreboard cricket. I'm loving it. Right, back to Bill Tallon. So uh, in cl close and he got a little edge at the bottom edge and it wouldn't have re reached for first slip and so my b b brother Don, the Don, the wicket keeper dived across in front of him with his right hand and took the b bloody beauty Don. <laughs> One for none. Good start for fellas. I thought you were good start, fellas. I worried about that. If if you know, for fellas, well done. So, so, so in comes this new guy I hadn't seen before. He goes, "Well, you're, you're new, Sasan." <laughs> the next delivery from Saudi, who's started uh, a spell from the Botanic Gardens end. No shot. You're, you're new, Sasan. Well, I've seen b b better b bats in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> to turn the bat out over and read the instructions on the other side. So after that b b bravado, I ran and ran and hard. 
and I banged it in short. And it was close in again, and it, he, he got his hands high and he gloved it through to my brother the dog, <laughs> who took a comfortable, <laughs> comfortable catch. <laughs> catch. Here's this one, uh, take it comfortably through to Blundell. He took a comfortable catch and, and a bloody beauty to dog. Two for na na na. Great start, fellas, fellas. And so in came. This weed, weed of a man, name of Bradman. Oh, really? Oh, I said, 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 said nothing, nothing to him. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran in hard, and it was on my middle and leg, and nipped, nipped back. Is Southie bowling and driven beautifully down the ground for four. Lovely shot by Green, just getting a full delivery, and it's uh, past Southie's right hand. And down to the long on boundary for four. 60 for two, green is 12. Back yeah, to Bill Tellen. Emphatic, emphatic shot there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting out of my story. Um, <laughs> well, you're in, so, you're, so, you're in character. So it's n- nipped back into yeah. Bradman, who's going to hit, hit it to Mimidon. And he's, he's quite quite strong, strong there. and But he gets an inside edge and it, 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 oh, it goes past the <laughs> leg stump. But my, my, my brother did the dog. Southie Bowles driven uh, through the mid-wicket area this time. Consecutive boundaries by Green. Beautiful shot. Southie's just over-pitched again, this time on leg stump. And Green cashes in. He's 16. It's 64 for two. Yeah, that's another good stroke, isn't it? Green is in terrific form at the moment. Oh, he's running hot. He's really only, only just half hit that, but it's really shot away very quickly. All right. So Bradman's so, got so an Bradman, inside edge. Inside edge. Miss, miss, miss the leg stump, but my brother Don dives across it the, to the to the left-hand side, takes a great catch. You b- bloody beauty, Don. <laughs> for three for 324. <laughs> <laughs> Southie's next ball is left alone by Green. I thought they were three for not many. No, no. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's a wonderful story. Well, well, Don Don Tallon, um, I mean, they talk about, uh, you know, the stuff I've read about him, say, you know, some many say Australia's finest keeper. Wonderful glove man, apparently. He learned learned a lot from Bert Oldfield, the England keeper. Thanked him a lot. So there you are. Oh well, I'm I'm just going to come down after that story. No, I've just my stomach's a bit sore. Here's Saudi bowling outside the off stump. No shot from uh, Green. So a good over for the Australians. Two boundaries coming in at 64 for two. Labuschagne is 16. Green is 16, and Saudi has none for 24. Goodbye, Jerry. Yeah.